Hello, welcome back to Bando Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, we're gonna continue from um, previous live noting. So basically, this is just a slight tweak uh, from before um, to create this kind of uh, mandala or some kind of Persian geometric art. I don't know what it is, but it's a. Uh, I end up with something that's kind of uh, nice, and I think this works to generate some kind of procedural uh, mandala artwork and maybe you actually can use this to print it out um, so yeah there it is uh, this is a setup I will explain and break down very very quickly apparently if we are just using like um, just a single line we, we don't get like a beautiful design like this um, I'll, I'll show you what I mean if we are just using a line before without mirroring it we only get something that's kind of so-so like this so it's not so interesting but once you actually mirrored mirror the line here using the mirror nodes and combine the original lines you actually get this kind of mandala looking abstract design so this is what i was talking about sometimes just a small small little things can generate uh, like a beautiful pattern and let's try to randomize the line a little bit and then also i'm we can use a different kind of noise that's um, modifying the line and you, you, you end up with all kind of variations of this uh, geometric pattern uh, some of them looks pretty alien uh, and but some of them actually quite nice like um, like this one for example and we can use a um, blender noise new Perlin or Warnoy um, maybe cell noise. Cell noise is always a little bit strange. Always the most alien looking. Uh, like I said, with this you can actually use um, intersect. So if you wanna further turn this into something that like a uh, more solid, you can try apply uh, matrix. I think it's um, this one. So this, these are the edges and these are the matrices. You join them together and then you use intersect. Intersect edges if they are actually um, flat. So we need to probably flatten it as well. Flatten our points. Intersect them all together. We need the edges. And it's gonna do some work, and as a result, you're gonna get uh, all interconnected lines that you can you can actually use fill hole. So if I bake this, so this is the design. If we go inside into edit mode and then hit F, uh, well, it didn't quite work. Oh, but we need to remove double as well. So if we try to remove double and hit F, we can actually get a filled face. So that's kind of the idea. Maybe not quite clean, but yeah, if you if you ever want to do that, um, be careful. Intersect edges can be quite slow. Uh, just keep that in mind. But I'm actually quite happy with this, uh, even with just this. So it's very interesting. This is like the top one and the bottom one. They are the mirror line. And just now I use the rewire. 
just to flatten just to flatten this so now they are flat look at it from the top and I guess you can always do some kind of coloring like a clever coloring will complete the design maybe give it to like the kids and ask them to paint in between the lines and you're gonna get quite nice uh, beautiful design cell noise a little bit strange maybe Perlin uh, I found it if we actually connect the last line together is we always get a, a better looking design somehow so if we just play around with this random value and something like this see uh, with the the last points kind of join give a better looking design so you can you can say okay you like this and then save it and then you go continue and play around with the with the seed okay this is quite nice and then you kind of okay uh, we want to make sure the last points kind of touching each other something like that maybe less random on maybe randomize it in the Z as well so that's that's quite nice as well and we can say okay I like this one and then bake it as well grab that design continue on and until you get like um, endless uh, geometric pattern so this is the this is the setup right here I'll, I'll give it to you and you can play around with it and remember you can always you know change the the number of rotation as well more or less I think maybe maybe less or half of them but there's like endless possibilities here um, you get like um, something that looks like a mandala um, it's um, in a Buddhism or also looking something that's kind of you something you find in the in the in the mosque like Islamic Islamic Persian art something uh, or even in the church sometimes you get this kind of design so I think they're kind of related sort of so anyway thanks thanks again for tuning in this is a um, uh, blender sushi and this is a uh, if you have any question, any feedback, suggestion, and let me know, and then I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.